All right, all right. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the Sunderland Football Manager 2021 Road to Glory series. First things first, yes, I probably look a little bit more fresh on the face, had a bit of a had a bit of a shave, much better. So yeah, good way to start this episode. And hey, we're third in the league with a game in hand, uh, even though Liverpool and Man United are a little bit uh, far away from us, and even the top four. We haven't really got that much breathing space, so we've got to keep up this form. First and foremost, let's give you a roundup of the results after those Man City games you saw in the last episode. The second game was really good. We knocked them out of the FA Cup. Big performance. Unfortunately, in the league, we lost. Yeah, it was really tough. I think it would have been tough to expect beating them both times, though. But then, against Newcastle United, the first leg in the semi-final 3-1, we're going to play yeah the second leg today after FA Cup fourth round v Tottenham. So it's still a tricky game, Tottenham. I always say that with Tottenham. I put it in the bracket. I put them in the bracket of the top six. But I think more often than not, we, we do get the better of them. Uh, but yeah, you can see there, Gomez, Brennan, Greenwood, Oxide chamberlain uh, scored a late goal, which may be important. I was a little bit disappointed with that. A three-goal breather is... Of course, better than two. Uh, and then against Norwich, a uh, pretty controlling game. Uh, a few different goal scorers for us. Dembele was really nice. Uh, again, they got a late goal, but we had yeah we had the po- the points. We had the points sewn up there. They actually scored the last two. We were sitting like 4-0 and pretty comfortable in that game. Uh, Sheffield United, another close one. Uh, we were holding again at a two-goal lead. We, we just played it out and Zaha scored, but then we held strong. I didn't go too defensive, though. Bournemouth. 6-1, absolutely flew in this game, and we weren't even playing, I wouldn't say our strongest 11. Let's just take a look. We'll review one of the games, probably our best one, that is for sure. We had seven shots on target and scored six of them, but to be fair, we had 17 shots. So I wouldn't say we're, we were like that accurate but because we had 17 in total and only seven went on target. But out of those that went on target, maybe Bournemouth's keeper, Andrada, he only had a six rating. So he's not bad, though. He's, he's got some nice attributes. He's 33, maybe showing a bit of a decline. But yeah, excellent performance. Kladrupski playing him at the Ram Deuter on that left side. He's finding a role there. Well, yeah, when we use him, play him there. Yeah, it doesn't do too bad. But there's something you will notice. Remember those young players we approached on their contract? They both decided to not join us, which happens. Us being Sunderland, our reputation is below these other bigger clubs and they're always going to side with them. And you saw I was actually increasing the offers of the contract more than they initially wanted. But it's like, that doesn't even matter at all. They just want to go to a team with a higher reputation. So they, that's that's a mistake. And I'm not just saying that. Oh, you're just saying that because <laughs> you'll be like, you're saying that because you're mad they didn't join you. But it's evidence like Clad Rubsky, Johnny Brennan, Maldonado, they've all come into our setup and become a re- regular player and not a bench player. And at those teams, they might have not even been a bench player. They might just be sitting in the reserve. So I'd love for the game to read that. I'm not sure. Like players will notice, oh, this team, Sunderland, young players have come here and really flourished in their careers. And even more so, someone like, okay, where is he listed with his, in terms of, uh, yeah, he's a bit lower now, Flozik. Well, that's that's not a low potential at all. That's not bad. Very good rating for the senior team. And that just really shows you where we've come. He's almost 50 million in his value. As almost as you're going to get, he's 49 mil. Signing for 67K. It was approached to sign a little compensation, but uh, yeah, it just shows you we're becoming a developing club. And I like that. I always uh, love to do that with a team. But then also we did have a bid extension Accepted for John Kitalano, Wuhan Zal, like a Chinese, that's a Chinese club, 12 million he's moved out to. So yeah, he's, he's going over to play. Is that a bit early to go over to China? The money, I mean, he's on 74K. It's not bad money. Uh, I think that was a bit of an increase to what he was on with us. Uh, I don't think I ever gave him that yeah, bigger contract. So I was happy with that uh, to get a bit of money. And then our replacement, Luke Thomas from Leicester. He's English, he's homegrown, so that's that's a part of it as well. Like I wouldn't say, you might say, oh, he's not even much better than him. Like If we take a bit of a comparison, go to the attributes, I'd say Luke Thomas edges him a little bit because he is one, oh yeah, he's two years younger than him, two years younger than him, and he can grow a little bit more. A few of those mentals that maybe are 11s, 
and then yeah, John where he has like twelves and thirteens. I, I like Luke a bit more though, especially in his technicals, uh, where he's got yeah, a bit better passing, a bit higher marking as well. And again, homegrown. He just yeah takes an edge there. And the fact and the fact <laughs> the fact that Luke Thomas we just signed him for one point one million, which was a pretty good deal because his yeah contract was running out. Of course, we couldn't approach to sign him because he was ready in England. So I didn't mind paying that, and he'd be a decent backup for us with a bit of cro- uh, growth potential. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a face. I haven't downloaded a face pack, a full new face pack and i actually downloaded some updated ones and added them to my file but unfortunately that made no faces show whatsoever i think i'm going to leave it for this year and then fm22 i'll download a full pack again so uh yeah don't worry about that as majority of players faces are uh, in my save so yeah that's what i'm going to do for whatever reason that stuffed it up adding yeah updates um into the file so i'm going to leave it as it is so won't be any league action in this episode yeah two cup games important. You see Liverpool, they were always going to be middles, bro. They're always going to be too strong. So against Tottenham, apply some opposition instructions there. And let's take a look at the squad. And we have still been without, guys. Uh, if we just scroll down, we've been without Zambo Angisa, Mohamed Salisu and Patrick Agu. Uh, Angisa and Salisu, definitely regulars. Agu, not as much, but they've all been away for the yeah, African Cup of Nations. So that's hurt us, especially yeah, rotation. Maldonado, yeah, you know, he's been a beneficiary of that starting regularly. And for me, he'll become better than Angisa and he's, he's class. For me, he's that tier of Johnny Brennan and Klad Rupski and Hlozek, uh, those like young players coming up. The attackers get a lot, a lot of love. And uh, he's just been very, very simple so far in his role. Just does the, does the right things in that you know, ball-winning midfield uh, role. So Tottenham, we and with that as well, when we play against a better side, I like to put that on defend duty. And yeah, he, he's not as, he doesn't push forward as much. You see, a little, slightly deeper he plays. Uh, and then we have got Klaid Rupski, Adam Hozek. He is, he, he's not far from coming back. And Nicola Armini mean, suspended for this one. Luke Thomas, he did join injured just yeah a few weeks away. He'll be all right. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, Armini's missing. So we got, you know, we've got a few leaders. We've got... Got a few missing, and the squad is still looking all right. Gould and Vranks. Uh, Vranks just a little bit more tired, so Gould gets a game. He's probably that next one. There's a few players. Who do you reckon that is those next players that are on the outer of the squad? Ryan Gould, he, he's been a decent player, and his attributes still don't look that bad at all. But if anything, he's had a, the best season <laughs> he's had with us so far. But, yeah, I just... I feel he's a bit on the outer in terms of his, you know, output compared to the others. Um, not far off. Gomez as well. He's had another good season. A lot of assists, but not as many goals as last season. So I'm liking the selection and Johnny Brennan up top. Just to show you guys his profile again, so you can always see how he's tracking. He's, he's so quick. And then with he's 17 and 17 finishing composure. The thing is, he only has got like 11 technique, but he doesn't really need a high technique when he gets a lot of goals from one on one. So it's the finishing and composure. He doesn't need crazy technique for one on one finishes. So let's go on. Let's go on into this one. See how Tottenham is going to be lining up as well. Yeah, what do you think about that with Johnny Brennan with his technique? Do you reckon? Yeah, what I said about that that makes sense. He doesn't. He doesn't need crazy technique for a like a poacher type of striker. Sure, it would be great. It would be better <laughs> if he had higher technique. But it's he still <laughs> he showed he's been fine with his attributes. Right, he's been performing excellently. I'm gonna go outstretch arms, pick up where he left off last time out. Unfortunately, yeah, not as many reactions off of that so there we go a bit more motivating ones okay we could have a first chance here maldonado gould yep dembele so he hasn't got worse as a player gould and he's far from old so dembele kladrovsky wow what a save that could be a very important one we could easily just take in the lead there so let's go encourage really encourage that always yeah, always boost the player's spirits. Their body language has a positive reaction. Position really, really well. Brennan, or oh, you could have been away, and he might now. Gomez, Brennan to Dembele. Oh, he's got to set this up, surely. Yes. It's it's game over when he does that. Or when my Especially Dembele, but when my wingers, when they don't take that shot, just when they get that ball in, we've got... What's that? Three? 
three men and one pushing into the box. So, no, four, five if you count Maldonado. But especially Kladrupski is great up and coming, one to kid attacking player. They just get that ball in, especially someone with a great um, creative ability is going to do that. So it's exactly what we wanted to see. But now it's Gomez. Oh, good block, Aaron. He's been great. Another another signing. Here's a wah, red by white. And again, I oh, Gomez. Dembele. On counters, we are so strong. Dembele, bang. I'd love to sign him. There's been a few players so far in this series where I've gotten on loan, but their price to make a transfer is a little bit too much. They've been really big for us. On the counter, unstoppable. Because Dembele, pacey, great technique and dribbling to get part and blast that. He's real. Oh, just to show you guys what I'm talking about here. Dembele, how old is he? He's 27. So you could say he's still in his prime, like late 20s. Hasn't hit 27 yet. He's got a few years till 30. That pace is clinical. Absolutely clinical, mate. Classy. The What we were looking at, though, look, 110K per week. So big wages. Liverpool, his value is 61 million. So that says a lot as well. He's so good. Aaron. Oh, but I'm not sure if he'll be able, like, someone we're able to afford. So just having him. Uh, Torvan, oh, what a tackle. I tell you what, Mankilo, he puts in very good shifts, doesn't he? He's, I'm... I say we're missing Armini. He's he's a good enough replacement. I don't worry when I put him in place. But we all know Armini's going to be class. White. Oh, I love his positioning. Dembele. Oh, he's going to find Brennan. See, that's the yeah, that's where if Brennan had better technique. Do you think that's something we could work on with Brennan? What are we what are we doing right now? Because he's he's still only nineteen. He's still got growth in him. Got advanced forward. Probably should change that to poacher. Even though it's like I'm trying to... It, that works on some other attributes as well. So I guess technique, if I do that anyway. Let's have him focus on the role he's playing, I guess. Uh, we got ball control. Yeah, we're, so we're working on ball control. Technique's part, part of that. First touch and dribbling. His first touch, 13, and dribbling, 9. So that's not a bad uh, kind of, you know, additional focus for him. There we go. Eventually get it out. But you know what I mean. Yeah, that's... I think we've got the right setup for him in terms of his uh, continuous development. That's a scary thing, how young he is. How he's playing now, he's like a experienced player. So imagine when he actually gets to that stage in his career. And hopefully he continues to stay with us. I'm very happy. I'll talk more. Or, you know, we're winning 2-0. We can. The thing about like those other players rejecting us that you saw I approached, he like that's the challenge. Like, we're going to find more. There's going to be more, but those are the players that are going to turn us into a contender to win the title. We can't, like, spend big money. So it's going to be this development over, like, what, four or five years or whatever so we can have multiple players in those positions. And maybe some end up leaving. Then you make the profit off them. Then you do have that money. So, yeah, it's not going to happen with, you know, two, three seasons in the Premier League. It'll be more four, five, six, but... Yeah, that's the way we're going to have to do it. Dembele, he's played with so much confidence today and we're, we are really in control of this game. So any players that are looking a bit tired, uh, Vandenberg's on a yellow, he'll be he'll be right. Just if we go over to the player from here, we'll have to go to player and go, yes, good guess, Vandenberg. Uh, we'll go to edits and ease off the tackles for him. Head back to the tactics. And I think Sergio Gomez, a uh, regular player for us, We'll bring on Sam Greenwood. There's been a little bit of interest in him, uh, transfer interest as well, for a few of our players, which is not surprising, uh, as there should be. Asta, we're going to have to bring him on. We're going to have to bring him on for Gould. We'll go here in Gould. Have to, yeah, I wonder when those other guys are going to come back. But for now, two changes. We're only 55 minutes in. So we'll keep one up our sleeves. And now we'll praise Right. It's Brown. Mankilo does well. Yeah. Defensively. We've just been defensively sound today. They haven't got past us at all. Maldonado. Oh, yes. Well done. No. See, look at that. White. He's been a very good signing. I say that about a lot of our transfers, hey? 
Ah, that wasn't good. But White, again. He just... He's always ready. He's always ready for that. Kladrubski. Oh my god, what a ball to Johnny Brennan. And he probably should have done better. Kladrubski, man. He, he's gonna... He's gonna be a star. I reckon Johnny Brennan, as good as he is, I'm, I know, putting a high ceiling on Kladrubski. I know he's got very high potential. So I'm going to put him, like, he could be that Ronaldo or Messi for us. You're like, chill. That's that's a real, but like, Brennan is not that level. Brennan is like a poacher, great finishing striker. If you have any comparison, I suppose I've compared him to Jamie Vardy in the career because of his course. Uh, yeah, we picked him up from the lower leagues, even though, yeah, he got to the Premier League before Jamie Vardy did. But that's the type of striker he is and type of player he is. But yeah, Klad Rupski, much higher ceiling. If you've got any comparisons, because he's, he's a different style of player to Ronaldo and Messi, but y you know what I'm trying to say, though. If you have any other yeah player comparisons, let me know. But I was wondering, do we go defensive? A little more defensive anyway. Uh, how are we going to deal with this? See, this is the thing as well. When we're defending, we've got players back. So that wasn't... That's offside. Defending. Yeah, like, that wasn't... We weren't being exposed there or anything. So that wasn't... Yeah, not at all. What? No. Yeah, check this. This is offside. The goal doesn't... <laughs> thought it would happen quicker than that. But, yeah, chances teams have against us. It's when we've got players back anyway. Maybe a little bit tighter marking. Could have been there for a while. But, yeah. It's all right. Maybe we'll make our final change. We've got a few players that are looking uh, the most high. Kladrubski, uh, Dembele. Yeah, Dembele will be our sub. And we'll bring on Conte Sal because we haven't used him as much in recent games. Yeah, we'll do that. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't feel. I don't feel we need to change up uh, too much, so, like tactically anyway. And we'll ignore that. Yeah, we made, we made our three subs. We'll finish with a, a praise. Tottenham, they had a couple chances, but overall hasn't really threatened us today. Their best chance they just had, and that was offside. So that says a lot. Kledrovsky, let's finish him off. Greenwood on. He's still got that just that finishing nous, Sam Greenwood. So he's good to have as that rotation slash backup attacker. Uh, get your thoughts up for Greenwood. But he's been great in this career because he was doing it for us in League One. Keep that in mind. When we got him on loan, then signed him when we were in the championship. Ah, that's that's why I love that role. The shadow striker. He played that perfectly, didn't he? Because you've got the striker Brennan there, and it was kind of like a fake that they thought we were going to play it through to Brennan, but then Greenwood comes through. That's, yeah, Greenwood, he's got that mentality to play that role perfectly. And, yeah, just knows how to play it. Perfect stuff. While Manchester United smashed Blackpool 10-0. Ooh, eight Messi. Oh, have we got something here? Let's take a look. And I just remembered something to update you guys on. Uh, a good victory. Advancing in the FA Cup. Can we go all the way again? We've gotten, yeah, we've gotten rid of some competition. We've gotten rid of Man City and Tottenham, <laughs> like in consecutive games. Uh, yeah, Nubel on form. He's been, he's been nice signing. So guys, Nubel, a loan transfer, 1.4 fee though. But he's been good if you look at his average rating, 11 clean sheets. Only 33 goals conceded. Uh, but yes, uh, a couple of things though. Even though I've touched on it a little bit uh, with the transfers, the the finance, we've made a good profit this month. Uh, of course, that 10 million around that was from the transfer difference uh, from selling Kitalano, then bringing in a new left back. Uh, so that was, that was on my mind a little bit as well. We can get an all right replacement, similar player that is just homegrown. So yeah, a couple of benefits there and gives us about, yeah, extra 10 million for the income this month and just on top of our kitty. So instead of being around 60 million, we're on that 70 million. And from the game's view of us, we're media prediction eighth. That's quite good. I'm very happy with that. In yeah, the few seasons I've been in the Premier League, we've established ourselves. That's that's very good where the game ranks us in terms of Premier League sides. So a couple, uh, William, the, we, we must have had that agreement. Yeah, that agreement was a little while ago. Yeah, that was start date March 2024. But now we've got OB in Denmark. You can see these ones affiliate club. I wanted to try and find a like senior affiliate, but 
I can't do that. So I had to do an affiliate. So I thought might as well, yeah, for like the, you know, merchandising sales, but I haven't been able to do that. So we've got a few different ones on this one. Um, FC Voluntary, there's annual fee, nothing, which is pretty good with that. But yeah, the most recent one we just did, as you can see there, 14th January was OB in Denmark. So we've got a few different. We've got ourselves in Romania, Denmark, and Holland. Some, yeah, connections there. And yeah, you can see it, some will be able to send players out on loan to there. So that'll be good for like work permits for players that might need that. Uh, some have a first option to buy the players as well from their club. And that does help like with the knowledge as well and maybe some players from those respective countries coming through our own youth intake. And I don't like you guys missing out on key information of like new signings or anything like that. So we signed that left back that was from England. Dasko Jovanovic, I almost signed this guy. It was it all went through apart from the work permit. Work permit was all we missed out on. It looked incredible. Um, they didn't want to sell him, but he was on a minimum fee release clause, just just over nine million. And he's a wonder kid. And I want to show you him as well. Like he's very strong on both feet. Not fairly strong and very strong. Very strong and very strong. Technique sixteen and tackling sixteen for a fullback. He's just got mad attributes. I was pretty disappointed because um, I think overall he's a better player than the guy we got but we couldn't sign him. So I want to still hopefully keep my eyes on him uh, for long term. He's only 19. Uh, <laughs> how long is he going to have that? Now, uh, fall to 2027 next couple seasons. So let me know in the comments what you think about Dusko, but I, I think he looks... I think he looks absolute quality. So hopefully, like I think he's going to surely play for Serbia So for his national team. So he should be able to get the work permit at some point. But I'd love to see your guys' feedback on him. And even Greenwood, some of these are weird, like... A loan move at this point in his career is not really fitting. So, uh, yeah, we'll just ask Armini, captain of the club, leader, and dra easy. And even that, if that didn't work, and then I would have to go to him, they generally drop their concerns. So I'm pr I'm pretty good with that at this time in the career. Like that's the positive at, at being at a club for a real long time. It's the players really, they drop those concerns a lot of the time. And for the next round of the FA Cup, it is being drawn now. So let's take a look with 18 left to draw. Let's go. We'll do it automatic. Let's see how it's going to play out. Ipswich Town. Get Watford. Liverpool. Bournemouth, decent draw for Liverpool. They should win there. Sheffield Wednesday are going to get Norwich or Arsenal. Going to be a hard fixture for them if they get Arsenal. Swansea or Rotherham, QPR, championship team's going to stay in it. With that, Aston Villa, Portsmouth, Man United, Leicester. Oh, I was sure we were going to get United, to be honest. Chelsea, Leeds. Okay, we're going to get Everton. How about that? The last We get the last team and out of the draw. Not too bad. Uh, we get a home fixture against Everton. How are they doing this season? Everton, they're not really... Yeah, they're ninth. It's that mid-table. They're not doing a whole lot. Uh, let's take a look at their hot prospects. Johnny Pratt is not too bad. I find this so strange. How he's like natural at right back and left wing back. That's really specific. But all right, after our 3-1 lead. And I like it being two legs because then you at least, yeah, you guys can see one of the legs play out and if we can make out uh, to the final. Yeah, make it to the final. So, yeah, you see now opposition instructions is a regular thing. Unfortunately, Ben White is suspended for this next game. It's probably going to be a few rotations. Armini, the good thing, Armini's probably going to come back in. Ooh, we're going to play Mankillo. It's a real tough one. I reckon we're going to, yeah, we're good. Oh. Armini, switch it, Ben White. It's a big decision, Dallamura, but he looking, yeah. Uh, I really preference fitness. Thought about that uh, for a while, that selection, but Mankillo on the bench can play left back and right back, or right back and left back. Uh, said it that way, he plays right back a bit more regularly. Martin, got to play him. Maldonado was still, yeah, Angisa, yeah, those got. Oh, Agu is the one. Okay, he's the one that's back earlier. So I reckon the boys. Uh, we're just gonna take a quick look. Can we take a quick look at when the games, uh, when the next one is against Brighton? Yeah, yeah, this is that time of the season though, and it was been uh, quite a few games. Ranks is gonna come in for Gould in this one. Yeah. 
Clyde Rubsky. Hlozek, yeah, he's still trying to get some fitness back before he's ready. Uh, we will bring on Edwards and switch the sides there. It's going to be a little bit better. But, yeah, that really sums up where we are in the season now. Uh, Johnny Brennan might rotate him. Yeah, you know he's needed rests and all that. So we're going to start Dusan. Yeah, we'll start Dusan here. And how many Hlozek? I'd probably start Hlozek instead of uh, Kladrubski because uh, he's a little less tired. So there we go. Uh, we are going to head in like this. Yeah, everyone else... Uh, Kladrupski's being rested. Agu's just come back from his international duties, which has been good, surely, for his development. Yeah, he's going to improve a little bit more. How many caps has he had? Yeah, 16 caps for Nigeria. You yeah, know, it's Nigeria. They don't have too many amazing players, so it's going to be easy for him to get that international experience. Quite a few games uh, already. So we're going to head in. Maldonado, I liked where he his positioning, yeah, how he positioned in the last game. So we're not going to change too much. And Dalamura and Vanderberg are going to be yeah, partnering in this game. Yeah, see how they play together. Okay. Let's get into it. Big game. Chance for us to make the final. Newcastle have done well to make it this far. But we, we did show. Of course, we've got a lead as well. So we take that into consideration with some changes. But we need to make sure of it. Newcastle have lost all of oh, the last six games. Yeah, let's go pile on the misery. We'll love to do that at home, especially. Just wins, just taking the dubs. Look at all that. Let's keep that going. Let's keep it up here. See, Martin Maldonado, a couple of the tired. Um, they're, they're still good. That condition is still good, keep in mind. it's not That's not bad. But they're a little bit more tired and probably a, a chance for being subbed during the game. St. Maximin, he's, he's got incredible pace. Incredible pace. But he's, like, he, he didn't do much with it in the end. Doesn't have that end product, uh, which he really needs. He's going to take the corner, though. And once more, we deal with it. He had some opportunities. And now it's Wilson. The chance is not over. Now it is with Vandenberg. That's out. And we just selected there Armini to mark, to mark St. Maxim. And even now, I just did that. Nicole, okay. <laughs> Do it for the second time. Dembele, Edwards Vlahovic. Well done, do Sam. He's still he's still a very good striker. He isn't in a bad he isn't a bad striker by any stretch of the imagination. Again, early in the career, he's a wonder kid. So he's a pretty good quality, and he's still on the younger side. He's definitely not old. So it's just interesting. Oh, he was positioned so well there to stay on. So it's interesting with him. If we check him out for a second, do Sam. Pretty, yeah, pretty strong attributes. 25 years old, that's what I mean. He's three-star current ability, four-star. He might not develop into that at 25, but he's still a very, very good striker, and he probably shouldn't be in the position he is where he's a backup to someone else. So, yeah, what do you think about that? But he gets the best out of us, and Vlahovic, he, he's good. Like, he's a very good player, but Johnny Brennan is just a star. And here we go. Dembele, with all the space in the world, should do something with this. And what did I say? When he's in those positions where he sets it up for someone else, it, it ends up being a goal more often than not when he takes the strike. So, again, press St. Maximin as well. Dalamura! That goes very, very, cro very close. <laughs> very, very close. Anyway, Aaron. Dalamura this time. Couple good chance there. Chances. Couple good chances there. Uh, what I was going to say is it's 4 1 on aggregate. Like, Here's one nil. See it as close, but yeah, the score line, the yeah, the score on aggregate is very, very good. Ah, oh, block this. Yes, look at that. I love. Oh, why did he ease off though? It's good that it. They wasted that chance, but yeah, we were covering with two players. I thought, yeah, surely wouldn't have been able to get past. Didn't end in a goal. Now Vandenberg. Dembele over on the left side on this game. He's still as dangerous with Aaron Vlahovic. He's showing he's still dangerous. And that's the strength of us, though. Johnny Brennan, who smashes in the goal with goals, plural. Now, you bring on Dusan, and he, he shows what he can do as well. The creative ability. We have him worrying about Dembele because we know how good Dembele is. Then Aaron getting forward. We're just, we've got a great team, and I absolutely love it. We don't just have one or two good players. 
everyone on the pitch can cause the opposition a danger. Oh, Gomez, don't be sliding in like that, mate. Maldonado, at least he knows how to time the tackle. For two times in a... Guys, <laughs> put respect on Maldonado to the levels we have of Johnny Brennan because he's going to have that same importance to the team. He's just not going to have the, those goals those goals scored. But stopping a chance is equally as good. So, yeah, put respect on him. He's real good. Gomez. And we maintain possession incredibly well. Newcastle have no chance whatsoever. No chance in hell. There we go. Dembele. He's good. So, yeah, we just have the luxury of having him on loan because he's not a type of player we'd be able to sign. He's $60 million worth. So the fact of having him on a loan is just, yeah, it's really good for our season. That we took advantage of him being available from Liverpool and, hey, hope that will be the same next season, but you can never expect that. Uh, no, we're not going to make any subs. Maybe press Oxide uh, chamberlain There we go. Half time, 3-0, 6-1 on aggregate. Very happy with how things are going. Keep it going, lads. This is just where we really show how strong our team is. Gomez. And we are really treating him like a Man City, a Man United, a Chelsea, a Liverpool would do. So, again, we talked about that last time. To bridge the cap, to, the gap to be one of those teams ourselves. We're not far off, surely. Armini. Because we... Oh, that's almost in. We often, not every single match, but we often just really show we are so much better than these, you know, lower mid-table teams, teams in the relegation zone, mid-table sides, uh, that we are that next level. But when are we going to be a title contender? We're not too far off it, even this season. We're just a few games we're dropping points on why we're, you know, off Liverpool and Man United. But it's not that, it really is not that much at all. So Maldonado, most tired in this game, so he will get subbed. Uh, we'll bring on Ryan Gould and maybe just switch those two there. Uh, Franks comes in Mazala, but he's not bad. He, he could play maybe, let's do a box-to-box -box and a deep-lying playmaker. There we go. We'll go with those roles. Mix uh, Dembele, no no reason to risk him, hey? Let's bring on Conce Sao. Again, he needs the sharpness up. Greenwood. Greenwood for Sergio Gomez. I've li I really like Greenwood, a, a shadow striker. He does well there. He knows how to find goals. No, it's Aaron. Gould. Why don't we just score another? Aaron. No. Let's get possession here, Vandenberg. Let's go for another. Make Let's go for a big win. Gould to Greenwood. I want a bit more from Vranks, admittedly. And Green... Oh, poor touch. Oh, miss it. Wilson. Wilson. Goes out wide. Say Maxman. This chance is probably for Newcastle now. And... They'd be really disappointed with that effort. Really disappointed. Martin with two assists today as well. It's going to be better between him and Dusan to get player of the match. I'd probably go Dusan with the goals. But, of course, his rating has to be higher. Still a good tw plus 20 minutes. Remaining, so who knows what's going to happen. Dusan could get a hat-trick. And then that really... Oh, no. Wilson. Nubal takes. So that was offside anyway. So we dealt with that chance. Okay, what's going to happen here? Vandenberg. Defense has been good today. Held strong. See, Green will look the run through the middle. Lays it off to Armini. See, now set it. Set it up for someone. Vranks. Oh, unlucky that got blocked. But it's still alive. Gould blocked again. Is this FIFA 21 with all the blocks? Conce Sal. Francisco Conce Sal. He's another that we could keep our tabs on if we were going to make a signing. I guess you guys will probably take more out of seeing his profile yeah, and how he's been. He hasn't been a bad player. We haven't used him as much. And... I think he gets on top uh, when we're in control of games, but he did what he did there. Really good finish. So, yeah, Francisco Conte Sal. Let's just take a look at him here. Like, pretty nice attributes, 22 years old. It all depends how much he'd be available from Porto, though. They'd probably want to keep him, though, looking at his ability. I'm not sure if they'd see him as a 
you know, player they'd want to get rid of after this season uh, where he's had a bit more development. So I don't want to spend too much time talking about him. Might not be able to sign him. But, yeah, if he's available, maybe for that asking price you saw there, around $20 million, would you pay $20 million for him? We'll have to see. But we've just controlled Newcastle today. Whew. Talamura had a few from those, you know, corners. Oh, it's still going to go down to the wire for Dusan and Martin. Oh. <laughs> At this point in time, it's going to go to Mar. Oh. Dusan, you're like, what has he got to do? And in the end, Martin got a 9.2. I guess, I think... What helped that? That we got a clean sheet at the end of the day. So defenders, yeah, ratings boost a little bit extra. But yeah, shows you how good Aaron Martin is for us. But yeah, Dusan, credit on his performance too. Once more, we just show, yeah, the depth, the depth of our squad. And we book a Wembley place, making the final. Absolutely love it. Uh, of course, we have not won the Carabao Cup yet. Uh, we won the FA Cup last season. So Another good season domestically for us, it looks to be. Key pass ease, class 1-4 tackles, created, passed well, and defended well. What do we praise? Can we just say everything? <laughs> like, I don't know what to say. I would say his defensive work, which is very important because we didn't concede a goal. But, yeah, creatively was very good. Uh, Vandenberg, yeah, he gets a fine. He'll miss the next game. Uh, suspended. But pretty neat episode we had here. We got our results, a 3-0 and a 4-0. Kept clean sheets as well. And then updated a few of the off-field stuff. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode today. I would appreciate a like on the video. And that last episode didn't get too many. I hope you guys are still enjoying the series. Uh, I'm sure you guys that are still watching it are enjoying it just the overall um, yeah, this time of the year, but I hope, yeah, this series for you guys, you've really enjoyed it. And I know you guys, again, it's back to that point. I just said, anyway, you guys that are continuing watching it, of course, uh, it's more so branching out to reach, um, some extra people. So if you could, yeah, you know, suggest the series to anyone, uh, that likes football manager, I would really greatly appreciate it. Uh, so we can push on. I remember mentioning it last time I did a series with Blackburn and I wouldn't say we've seen progression in terms of the viewership of the videos from last year. The quality of the series has been great. Like the save is going magnificently. I think I've presented it in a good way as well. So yeah, it's kind of bridging that gap to those yeah UK YouTubers <laughs> doing the FM stuff, which I know people, some of the audience of Football Manager tend to have a preference uh, considering they are the audience. And I'm just some guy from Australia that's been doing it for nine years though. <laughs> so keep that in mind. But anyway... Hopefully, you guys um, are enjoying it, as I said. And yeah, those of you that recognize the work I put in, greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys next time.